backyard with a spa. You know, it's and I nice. bet he doesn't care that the council approved a 1% pay raise for Not at all. Like, that's great. Yeah, that's good. Pile <laughs> that on top. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, you guys. Interesting over the next couple of days here, we are going to see the chance at some precip and a lot of wind. You're going to have to go to the north, though, if you really want to see any sort of accumulating snows or even a little more in the way of consistent rain. But we'll at least get a shot here in Albuquerque. Sandy Peak Cam, so we show what's happening here. Most of what you're seeing is high level moisture starting to push its way in. It's been sort of in and out throughout the day today. Nothing too consistent for us, but the core of this storm is still back away. And as it comes through the area, it's going to come through very, very slowly. So we're going to be dealing with this thing probably all the way through Thursday as we go up around the Durango Mountain Resort. Best cloud formations of any of our cams that we've had so far today. Very cool stuff as some of these clouds hanging over the top of the San Juans. And it looks like the San Juans going to end up with four to eight inches out of this deal by the time it's all said and done. Not that they need it or it matters at this point, but you could always use the extra moisture. 73 in the metro right now. Relative humidity 11%. Winds out of the west for us at 6. 16 miles an hour, 60s and 70s for us off to the north, 80s out to the east and down to the south. Carlsbad, the big winter temperature wise right now, if you can call it that, 90 for a current temperature there, 79 Alamogordo and 77 in Deming. Sustained winds are strongest across northeastern New Mexico right now. 29 Las Vegas, 22 in Raton, 25 in Tucumcari, and 22 Deming, 20 in Las Cruces. So we've got sort of a windy day. You know, for us this year, though, it's been such a bad windy year that this is sort of, while windy, not too bad in the grand scheme of how we've done. But gusts are right around 40 miles an hour in Las Vegas and Clayton and Tucumcari at this point. Here in the Albuquerque area, we're up to 28 miles an hour to gust. The problem is tomorrow we're going to ramp up those winds even more. A look at the satellite and radar shows some high cloudiness pushing its way through. Moisture for the most part right now over you. Utah and Colorado. Core of the storm is over Utah as well. It's going to sort of poke in to the four corners here throughout the day tomorrow. As it does that, we'll do a couple things. Number one, crank up the winds across the area. Wind gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour across most of the state here with this storm coming in. We'll start to also increase that moisture across the four corners and eventually into the northern mountains and maybe into the Albuquerque area by the time we hit early Thursday as well. So let's break down that precip and show you exactly what we expect here. Spot stuff possible overnight tonight, but better chances of more consistent rain and snow pushing into the four corners by around noon tomorrow. That includes the Farmington area. And then throughout the day tomorrow into Thursday morning, spot showers possible in the Albuquerque metro area. Over the northern mountains will change over rain to snow Wednesday night into Thursday. A few inches of accumulating snow possible there. And a couple showers hang around into early early on Friday morning before things finally start to push their way on out of here and we see better setup for Friday afternoon. So let's go region by region for you across the area tomorrow. Good chance of showers across the four corners, but better chances the later in the day you go and that will last all the way through Thursday and maybe early Friday before things quiet down for the weekend. South and west temperatures here 60s and 70s, maybe even some 80s around Las Cruces and Alamogordo with wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Chance of showers pretty limited in Silver City. We may squeeze one out by Thursday, but it's probably not going to be a big deal. 88 in Artesia, 84 in Portales. 83 in Fort Sumner and your Roswell area forecast. Temperature's going to cool a little bit into Thursday and Friday with the chance of showers pretty minimal. North and east, isolated storms possible here over the next couple of days. Wind gusts tomorrow up to 40 miles an hour. Other parts of the state, especially the south, going to see more wind than Las Vegas will. Over the northern mountains, temperatures anywhere from the 50s all the way up into the high 60s. But tomorrow night, we'll take those scattered showers, convert them over to snow, and the high mountain communities could grab a few inches. Wednesday into Thursday, that chance of showers continues and then quieter for Friday. 71 to Harris, 72 in Edgewood, 71 in Sandia Park, mostly cloudy. Spot storms tomorrow. Albuquerque, mostly cloudy tomorrow as well. Some spot storms possible, but the bigger story for us, bring on the wind, unfortunately, at 45 miles an hour to gust. We're going to have our hands full with that. Chance of showers continues through Thursday. All right. Sports is next.